When you get married, you dream about starting a family with your spouse and what that's gonna look like. You don't dream about infertility or miscarriage or high-risk pregnancies, special needs children, children born really early as preemies. You don't dream of any of those things. And that's been our journey the last six years. Yeah, I think some of the darkest times through this process have been you know, early on in the pregnancy with Caleb. Um, we thought we were having a miscarriage. The levels were all over the place. Um, so many things were going on that were unclear to us. And we ended up seeing a specialist that we would go to week after week. Um, even this top doctor didn't know what was going on. We couldn't figure it out. But the biggest concern was his heart. His heart was under so much stress and actually wasn't functioning the way it's supposed to. They basically told us he may not actually survive. Matt arrived right, basically right the moment they were gonna start the C-section. And, um, you know, I can't feel anything, but I just had this sense that he had been taken out already. And I just remember saying like, Matt, did they, I'm confused. Like, did they take him out? And um, the reason why I asked, cause there was no noise. Caleb basically was already in the process of dying. They basically had to revive him. Once they stabilized him, they moved him to the NICU and he was there for the next 127 days of his life. There were a lot of days I didn't think he was gonna make it. Shortly after Caleb was born, Matt just had a sense that God just told him, like, Elijah is going to touch people's hearts and Caleb is going to change people's lives. And we see that every day. Caleb, in his two and a half years, has brought more joy to more people than most adults do in their entire lives. People we don't even know yeah. send us messages, let us know how much they love watching videos of Caleb on Facebook and how they're praying for him. There are people across the world that are praying for Caleb. I look much more forward to heaven for Caleb now because he will run free and he'll have no defect and he will get to worship all the time. And one of Caleb's favorite things to do is worship. There are some verses that have been dear to me over the past couple years from Isaiah 43. It's God speaking to his people, Israel, and he says, you will go through the waters, you'll go through the rivers, you'll go through the fire, and referring to trials and tribulations that we face. But then at the end he says, fear not, for I am with you. The fact that he chooses to be with us during those times, and that to me is a picture of the gospel. And Jesus chose to be with us. He came down while we were in the midst of our sin and brokenness and he chose to be with us through it. <laughs>